brother Andrew's decided not to come. But I'm going to take Mike on a tour through Luton. Now, Luton is a town about the size of Brashov, slightly bigger actually, much richer because it's in the United Kingdom. But Luton is a failed city, completely failed in every way. So here we go, Luton Town Center. The saddest thing about this town, this over here is a war memorial. It has all the names of all the men from Luton who died during World War II to defend this country. And now the country's turned to shit. Sorry, I'm just watching out again tonight, so. No, man. I don't understand shit anyway. He was asking me for money. Yeah. Look at this place. I'm on edge as well. I'm coming up to me asking for a lighter. Weirdo is drunk. I'm just No one's speaking English. It's a failed society. Yeah, this, is the, this is the center of the city. This building used to be a cinema when I first moved to Luton. It's been closed for about 14 years and nothing has reopened there. This is England. Now keep in mind, Mike, Romanian people leave Romania to live and work here. As I told you, that, that people that don't, like, that didn't travel before, they, they're thinking it's some, some wow, some other countries, wow, amazing. But this is a failed society. It's this like... Alright, how many homegirls have you seen? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. What's my back? In this shopping mall right here, a few weeks ago, when my mother was in there, two dudes ran in with knives, started stabbing each other, one of them died. Right here, extract, I'll, I'll point to it. There's a little plaque, it's up here somewhere, in memorial to a policeman who was standing around being a policeman, and some African dude attacked him with a knife and stabbed him to death in the middle of everybody here. There's a plaque right here, I'm going to show you. Don't fix the problems with the country, just give him a little memorial plaque, that makes it all better. I don't fix the inherent, inherent problems with this nation. Let's just leave little plaques to the, the stabbed, dead, innocent English police officer. And hold that camera tight because it's worth money, so I'm trying to wipe it off. I'm from Romania and oh, I, I wouldn't move here. Here for LPC, Jonathan Charles Henry. 11th of June 2007. Poor guy, just standing around doing his job. Some fucking lunatic stabbed him to death right here in the street. Right, now we're going to enter the one and only shopping mall in the city, which is in the center. People get stabbed in here too. Oh, and obviously because this is England, everything closes at 6 p.m. So at 6.01, everything will be shut. The Romanians. Yeah, the bad ones. Yeah. 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 He's digging cigarettes out the ashtray to smoke. Bro, failed society. The shopping mall is alright, but look at the people in it. This is, this is, this is wonderful. I would hate. It's important for society to be like this. I would ha hate my country as well. That was the case, man. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's totally lost. I left. It's failed. How are you going to fight this? What, what can I do? Even as rich as I am, what am I supposed to do? Why, why would you stay if there's no more if of, of your own people? And then all these people have English passports, so they're not even foreigners. <laughs> these guys are like that. <coughs> Those guys with the turbans are like seats of the people. They work as like lawyers and doctors. And shit. You know what I mean, they're smart Indian. They're the good ones. They're the people we, that society should want. I, Tristan Tate. Used to work here for a few months, putting things on shelves, filling the shelves up in the shop. From right here. A man of my intellect, stacking shelves of fucking shampoo. England has not always been a failed society. There are some nice things in every English town. So here we are in Luton, and 
I'm about to take you to a nice place in Luton because they do exist. But this building, I think, is over 300 and something years old. And people built this house back before England was a failed society. So now it's a hotel. So we're going to see. You have arrived. Somebody built this as his house. And then he passed it down to various generations of his family. And one guy in his family got into debt and ended up having to sell the estate, which is now bought by a hotel company. And then he killed himself in this house. That's a true story. <laughs> 